Greetings to all of the Bethany community. As we wrap up our virtual celebration of students receiving honors this spring, I want to personally congratulate all who have been recognized. At Bethany College, where teaching and learning are at the center of our mission, it is important that we stop each year to celebrate those who exemplify the true Bethany spirit. At this time, I have the honor of announcing the final awards for this academic year. The first award today is the John R. Taylor Memorial Award in Liberal Arts. This award is presented annually, given to a student who demonstrates exceptional scholastic achievement, service to the college in extracurricular activity, a deep understanding of and an abiding commitment to the core values of liberal arts, with preference to students who have benefited from an educational immersion experience. This student's nominator said, quote, she is exceptional, one of those once in a generation students who is a pure joy to work with and who is well poised to make a substantial contribution after graduation. Outstanding students sit for their comprehensive exams in the fall of their senior year. She passed hers with distinction in the fall of her junior year. She is our best equestrian athlete on campus. She competes on the conference and regional levels and is always at the near top or the top. Recently, I have been impressed with the way she applies the concepts covered in class in her work with horses. In addition to her academic application, she is also in charge of one of the largest equestrian meets in the year, attending to the details that are necessary to make sure the meet itself runs smoothly. More than her equestrian activities, she has other athletic interests. Because we did not have enough players for the women's soccer team, she decided to join, worked doggedly to make gains in fitness and ball handling skills, and became an invaluable part of the team, holding up the midfield. This student is one of my favorite students of all time. I think it would be hard to find another student who better upholds the ideals of the Bethany College education." End quote. At this time, I want to congratulate our recipient, Logan Mayhew. Our next award, the Pittsburgh Bethany College Club Award. This award is presented to the outstanding woman in the junior class who exemplifies the qualities of leadership, character, conduct, and scholarship. The club comprises the Bethany alumna of Pittsburgh who place a plaque in Phillips Hall on which the names of the winners are engraved. This is what nominators said about this recipient. Her conduct in and outside the classroom is impeccable. She is an individual who always does the right thing and does not try to be popular to change her views. She stands her ground and can be counted on by both professors and students. Her conduct in the classroom is exemplary, and I can always rely on and trust her to set the right tone in the classroom. She is very helpful to students who are struggling in class and always helps with a smile on her face. She is a true leader and does not hesitate to take responsibility when asked. The fact that she is honest and forthright is indicative of the positions she holds and the responsibilities she has taken at Bethany. Academically, this student always performs at the top of her class with the highest standard GPA. She is conscientious in all of her endeavors and always gives more than 100% effort in whatever responsibility she assumes. Please join me in congratulating Tatum Dyer. Our next award is the W.F. Kennedy Prize. This award is given to an outstanding man in the junior class. This prize is established by Mr. Kennedy of Wheeling, West Virginia, and is awarded to the student on the basis of the contribution to the college community and life and leadership in activities, in personal character, and in scholarship. This is what nominators said about this recipient, and I quote, he is sought out to talk with prospective soccer students because he is such an exceptional ambassador for Bethany College. His loyalty and commitment to Bethany is par excellence. As captain of the men's soccer team, his leadership and behavior demonstrate his ability 
to encourage and rally his team. Additionally, he has been in my marketing and financial accounting and corporate finance classes and has consistently performed at an exceptional level. He is currently in my international finance and management classes and his participation, case reports and other assignments are of exceptional quality. He has served as a leader for his team for various group assignments in various classes. This student is a natural leader, one who is consistently chosen by his friends, classmates, and teammates to represent them. His work, whether on research, topics, or a quiz or an exam, is always above reproach. He is willing to help others on his team who may have difficulty in comprehending material. Please join me in congratulating Trobin Grether. Our next prize, the Bethany 2000 Prize. This prize recognizes a member of the senior class who has best demonstrated loyalty and commitment to Bethany College through involvement in a variety of activities. The recipient must maintain a 3.0 GPA and demonstrate the characteristics of enthusiasm, dependability, and dedication. This is what nominators said about this recipient, and I quote, she epitomizes what it truly means to be a Bethanian. She has been proud of and committed to the college since her first semester. When she started in the fall of 2016, she was a high achieving mathematics major. And as a result of interest in my STEM-based January term course regarding connections between the arts and sciences, she took on the added challenge of a double major in chemistry starting in her sophomore year. Her loyalty to the college has been in her commitment to two majors, including research opportunities, to several academic clubs, and to her volleyball team and teammates. She has been an enthusiastic student over the last few years. She proposed and was accepted for a faculty-mentored West Virginia NASA Space Grant Consortium project each of the last three years. She also presented poster presentations at the previous two scholarship symposia. She competed in the summer project at West Virginia University's research experience for undergraduates. She likewise presented at both the American Chemical Society National Conference in March of 2019 and the Undergraduate Research Day in February of 2019. In addition, she has served as the vice president for the Math and Computer Science Club over the previous year as well as treasurer for the American Chemical Society Bethany affiliate for the last two years. She remains one of the most responsible and respectful students that I have known, and she is extremely humble and modest despite being one of the sharpest scientific minds that I've had the pleasure to educate. Just as important, she's simply fun to be around and have in class. Because she has a great sense of humor and truly cares about what she is learning in the classroom, end quote. Please join me in congratulating our recipient, Rachel Ganser. Our final award today is the Francis Oak Harper Prize. This prize is given to the seniors who in the judgment of the Honors Committee have made the most outstanding contributions to the life of the college. Mr. Carfer, a trustee of Bethany College for 29 years, was a graduate of the class of 1909. Recipients of this award must display sound academic accomplishments and characteristics of loyalty, service, and devotion to Bethany. We have two recipients this year for this honored award, and I have the pleasure of introducing both of them to you here today. I also extend my congratulations to these two recipients of the coveted Carfer Prize, Rachel Ganser and Logan Mayhew. Congratulations. It is with pride and appreciation that again I congratulate and share my admiration for all award winners as we close our virtual Honors Day program 2020. You truly exemplify Bethany's mission of teaching and learning. Congratulations. <laughs>